Hey my darlings, so I wanted to come on here and talk about the goddess Kalalea who is another DE that I work with, especially with this time of the year, with the dark half of the year and right now the weather is miserable, it is rainy, windy, stormy and we are said to get um, hailstones or snow and this is the type of weather that Kalalea can bring to us so I definitely feel <coughs> excuse me I definitely feel like she is awakened and is starting to rattle her boots and stomp her feet and come out and just break out into the wild world again and everything like that. I absolutely love it. I can feel this energy going through me and I can feel the, well, feel, sense these thoughts running through my head and everything is starting to buzz around me and I absolutely love it. Um, Kelalia is known as a dark goddess. Um, but I don't really see her as a dark goddess. I just see her as an ordinary goddess that comes out of the dark half of the year. Yes, she does have a more dark aspect to her, but I don't really think that is a bad thing. Um, it is more of a lesson and a challenge to me and I am afraid of Kalalea. I am not a afraid to mention that. I know that I am afraid of her and I won't mess with her um, like I probably would with other deities. I would tell them where their place is but with her it's a completely different story. Um, she just brings this feeling to me that she knows what is right for me and what is the best way to do things and how I should be going about it. Um, right now, so far in my practice, she hasn't crossed any boundaries that I'm uncomfortable with. So far they've been okay and I'm happy with her to do that and I'm hoping that continues. But if there does come a situation where I'm not comfortable with her crossing that boundary, um, I may end up telling her to not do that and hoping that she respects me as much as I respect her. Um... But yeah, some people wonder why I work with Kalalea when I'm so afraid of, afraid of her. And again, it's all to do with the lessons and the challenges that she brings. And it's not like... Um, she's keeping me awake at night or anything like that or making me feel terror. It's bringing out these fears that are inside of me that I do not want to deal with, that I do not want to face or challenge or figure out why I do um, have that fear. She brings them about and makes me question why and what it is that's causing me to feel this way and making me go into... Well, encouraging me to go into meditations and path workings and things like that to help me understand what this fear is all about. She brings out the raw and true and gritty side of things um, and she finds fears that are inside of me that I never knew even existed because they are so deep down inside of me that they haven't even surfaced yet and yet she drags them all out and tries to get me to face them. This is the type of goddess that she is to me and how we work. She brings out the fear, she's telling me to deal with this fear face on, especially with this dark half of the year. You know, the 
it's dark half of the year because the nights are getting longer and the days are shorter so there's a lot more darkness and with darkness we do tend to fear a lot more because our minds start to wonder seeing all these shadows going on and shapes and everything like that and wondering what's going on in the corner or something like that this is what she's helping me to deal with dealing with those shadows dealing with that darkness that is inside of me and as well with this type of the year um, I go into my hibernation mode, which is to, <coughs> sorry, um, which is to deal with um, the past, past year and all of that, um, looking inwards and looking outwards as well and just evaluating my whole life and with her working with that it is a beautiful com combination and I do appreciate her for that I really really do because it's with me it's never easy and I never want to face any of this and so she's doing that and it's brilliant she's helping me to deal with this but she's doing it at a pace that is not just comfortable with me but is comfortable to her because if it was her decision it would be straight in there deal with it but she's not doing that to me she's approaching it at a decent pace which is giving me more time to deal with things and to not bam I am terrified I never want to work with her or I never want to go into that fear ever again um, she's helping me to slowly overcome that. Um, other than the fear side of things, she also is a goddess that I go to to help with my ancestors. Um, most of my ancestors that I know, they are Christian. So I will call upon God when it comes to them. But there are the ancestors that I have no clue about that were before Christianity. And so to me, I feel like she is the goddess for me to work with them. She can delve, di delve? Yeah, delve, di <laughs> I can't speak now. She can delve right into the ground and soak up their roots and give that to me some of that energy um she can help me connect with them so much and i appreciate her so much for that and she helps me with connecting to that other world and the spirits and everything um she is also known for the lakes and obviously the weather and the snow and the winter but also mountains and in a way healing because she is dealing with that fear um, and that can be very healing as well but a different style of healing um, so yeah she works with the animals and the rocks um, for crystals I would say anything to do with the colour black or like smoky quartz quartz black tourmaline, um, black obsidian, jet, onyx, those type of crystals. But she mainly appreciates minerals and rocks that you find from the ground that are you are attracted to um, or that are calling you for a certain reason or a different shape or colour or anything like that. She will appreciate more because it is from the earth that she comes from. Um, to me, she is also known as a earth goddess. Um, with animals, I do associate her with the deers and owls and wolves, especially the wolves. Um, right now, I have this deer antler um, that I got from Instagram. Um, and I am trying to find the time to convert this 
into a devotion chain for her like a prayer beads but to me I don't want to use the word prayer because that is not really something I feel comfortable with at the moment so devotion seems to be a better word for me um, so I'm trying to convert this into some sort of devotion chain for her um, I'm trying to find the best crystals and symbols for her which is why it's taken some time but this is something that I saw straight away and knew it was for her um, and yeah her celebration day is normally on the 25th of March um, which is when she starts to I think it says when she starts to gather the last of her sources and go to sleep when spring is starting to come upon us um, there is sometimes that rift with her and another goddess Bridget because obviously Bridget is more of the summer and the sun um, Kalalea is to do with the winter, the cold um, and to do with the moon as well so there is that fight going on when it comes to summer, autumn and winter times um, which can make it very interesting with my workings because Bridget is my main DE that I work with and I also work with Kalalea um, but thankfully right now they are backing off so while Kala um, yeah while Kalalea is around Bridget is going away for a little bit for me um, what else <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else. Um, for offerings, I normally do a pork pie and some whiskey or some Baileys. I've seen other people uh, share out some roast dinner for them, for her. Any type of meat is good for her. Um, I found in alcohol, mainly whiskey. But again, if I haven't got any whiskey, I will do Baileys. It's mainly about what you feel is right and what you think is best for her around your area as well. Um, and I've been putting off talking about Kalalea for some time because I know there are people out there who are really, truly devoted to her. And I've always been a little bit wary of them because I did not want to offend them with anything that I said in case it's not really what they would go by um, but I'm starting to learn to know that understand that this is my workings with her and not theirs and so our workings are always going to be a little bit different and so I'm hoping I don't offend anyone if I've said anything that is not really in her character. Um, I know there are a few books out there about Kalalea, but I haven't gotten around to buying them. But I will post their names in the description box below, along with a few other links that are connected to her. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say but she's she's a goddess you have to tread carefully with if you are in a vulnerable state then I would advise you to not step into her world um, you have to be in a place where you feel safe um, because obviously to me she can bring out your fear, she can bring out the worst nightmares and make you feel vulnerable and if you are already in that state then it's not really a good position for you to be in when it comes to working with her. So make sure that you are in a state of mind where you are certain of yourself um, or in a steady position with yourself. 
Um, and I think that is really all I can say about her in my experience so far, as much as I can right now. So I'm hoping this made some sort of sense and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.